keep going because I know I must work to ensure. Damn, dog. Forget the song. Throw the song. I don't care. That scene. That just put tears in my eyes, bro. Hey, mama. Ah. I wanna sing so loud for you Cause mama I'm so proud of you And let me tell you what I'm about to do Mama Come on now you know what that is Classics only I just got my twisted and cut up You know what that means huh. Huh, huh. I don't know when y'all gonna be watching this. I don't know if y'all gonna be watching this on Friday or Thursday. But if it's Friday, just know today I will be having a live stream about my album Village Boy. I announced the name of it on Thursday, which could be today. And the vi and I mean, and we're doing a live stream, the first official live stream about Village Boy tomorrow. Tune in, it's going down. I got something special for all the donators. And if we hit that dono goal, I got some extra special. You feel me? Like, Dax just dropped a new song called Dear Mama, like Tupac. You know what I mean? Um, let's get right into it. I'm expecting, you know, I love the duck. The Dax reaction be the classic reaction on this page, and I and I and I love and I love me some Dax reactions. So let's see what he did with this one. I think this one's gonna be more of a serious one. Everything you did was worth it. He talking to his mom, so based on a true story, we gonna see. March 2nd, March 22nd, 1994, St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada. I be forgetting, I mean, I don't be forgetting Dax is Canadian, but it's just, Dax is really Canadian. Did that really happen? Did your mom get into an accident on the way to delivering you? Ah, I, I mean, I don't hope that happened. I, I, I just hope you didn't, like, that's not made up because I'm over here like, damn, son, you know? Um, Maybe I do hope it's made up, just so nobody went through that. But like, God dang, okay. Way to grab the attention right away, Dax. All right. So crazy to think Dax is younger than me. <laughs> Dax is like three years younger than me. Dax. Dax is literally three years younger than me and three years older than my little brother. Is he even three years old? Yeah. Yeah. That's a weird thing. But I don't my bad. Let's get into it. Mm. Strong Nigerian woman. What did you talk about? That's what you're watching right now. That's what really got me into this. What y'all don't realize, this is a Nigerian woman. Huh? They're strong. Scrum. I feel, I know Dax. I know exactly what you're talking about. Huh? I believe that she got her ass and drove herself back up there. But check! Oh, I must deliver this child now. This little, this accident will not stop me. I am going to this hospital. Huh? That's exactly what happened. Shit. Yeah. Dear mom. Everything you did was worth it. All the sacrifices taken when the picture wasn't perfect. I could see it in your face when I was young and all your burdens are reminders to keep pushing when I'm working on this circuit. I remember. Mmm. Mmm. Talk to me very kind, Dax. I've always said Dax is at his best when he has something to rap about. When he's doing like his freestyles and stuff, I don't ever think that's when he's even close to his best when he's doing that stuff. It's when he's rapping about something. Right now, give or take what the thing may be, may, you might think is stupid or whatever, but when it comes to something like Dear Mom, hey, the way he's rapping about it, you know, I got a Nigerian mom too, so this is, gonna, this, is, this is hitting me a little different. You know, that sacrificed everything for us. So, yeah, this is gonna hit me a little different. Ibo kwenu, eh? Kwezenu. 
Brother, Vico, go now. When I was young and all your burdens are reminders to keep pushing when I'm working on this circuit. Mm. I remember in the Canada cold, delivering papers out the trunk when I was sick, going door to door. You used to say God got me, I was meant for more. That we was broke because he was fixing what we had in store. I believe that God, you say God got me. And he, and we broke because he's only fixing what, what did he say about the reason why her mom said that there was broke? Wow! You had to get high pitched with my wow. Wow! What? Yeah, Dax, now you, now you rapping, nigga. Now you rapping, nigga. You, you don't, you're not a punchline rapper. Dax be, I know that's like the whole thing with like, with YouTube, niggas be thinking everybody, Dax is, is like a, a writer. You're not a punchline rapper, man. When you be doing the punchline stuff, it don't hit like this. You know what I mean? Man, okay. Out the trunk when I was sick, going door to door. You mm. used to say God got me, I was meant for more. That we was broke because he was fixing what God got me, I was meant for more. We were broke because he was fixing what he had in store. Wow. Wow. I don't know why I'm random, but I don't know why Dax cut his hair. Because you didn't cut your hair, nigga. <laughs> I bet, I bet, because I was even saying it back, if you go back and watch my old reactions, I was like, yo, there's no way his hair can, because I guarantee you it wasn't healthy for his hair. Like his hair was becoming unhealthy. I could tell. And he probably had to cut those tips to start over again because it was becoming like too heavy or something. I knew it. I knew it. We had it store. I remember that. Mama used to beat my ass. And I would be mad and crying while she worked the back to back. Then she'd wake me up and tell me that I better get to class. And then I graduated. Then she stood up and I saw her class. Mom, we used to. <laughs> Like you, like I said, bro, it's not about the complex. Like, he's not a complex puncher. He's not like a complex writer. He's really just essentially trying to give... When he's just giving you what he's... What he's just telling the story or giving you face value what he's talking about, he's at his best. When he tries to, like, guise it and do, like, metaphors and... Not everybody's like that. Like, Tupac... And I'm not comparing him to Tupac, but I'm saying Tupac was not a punchline rapper. Biggie was more of like a punchline rapper. But that there's many ways to skin a cat. You know what I mean? You don't always gotta be like, and I went to Denver, got some nuggets. Uh, you don't gotta do that. This, powerful. There's power on this, man. Talk to me nice, Dax. That's what you're doing. You Daniel right now. To argue now, I know you was right. I'm gonna tell my kids the same to be in before street lights, not to steal. Do right, live, laugh, play, fight, and every night pray to God on both knees with closed eyes. Everybody's got a mom, everyone relates to this. There's no way we can repay them for the things they all did. This and yeah, I mean, obviously, this is kind of like a more of a even like when he says it, everybody's got a mom, everybody can relate to this. I almost wish he would not have said that. Only because, it, you know how I be, when I break down writing, I break down writing different. It almost comes off a little like, well, obviously you gonna like this song. Everybody can relate to this song, right? I mean, if you don't like it, there's something wrong with you, right? If you can't relate, you're crazy, right? It, it kind of comes off like, <laughs> like you trying to trick me into liking it. Like, wait a minute, I have a mom too, but that, that I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of that line, but like what he's saying is, I mean, not what, what the sentiment of the whole thing is true. He didn't even have to say that. You know what I mean? Like we all do have a mom and we all can't relate to this, but necessarily not everybody can relate to this, Dax. Let's not do that. There's some people whose mother didn't have great mothers. That's why your mother, that's why my mother, that's why it, it needs to be celebrated because that's not a default setting. You don't just... You know, a lot of people can relate, but those people who can't, that, that's why it's not really necessarily about talking about the people who can relate, it's about talking about your mom. I don't care if you can relate, <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's, I, I get what he's saying. Though. Pay them for the things they all did. There's a message to the queens around the world who go to war and mm. sacrifice to make a better life for all of their kids. It's an anthem for Tuesday the moms. Tuesday night you would drive me to practice, church on Sunday midnight masses, pushed me hard, I couldn't be stagnant, kept me calm despite the madness. You cooked and Hey, wait, 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 chineke. Dax, that's your mother, right? I mean, she frying broccoli in a pan? This is an African woman. 
and she, what is this? Chineke. If she gave it to a child, what is this? This is rabbit food. Hi, Chineke. I wanna me. Hi. So you give me this uh, uh, bush to chop. Because put some meat, some nama, some ewu, uh, pepper soup now. Huh? I need something that will uh, stick to the river very well. Oh. Huh? I'm just about the madness. Yeah, this is the type of song to make you just, yeah. Just. <laughs> I can keep me fed, then melt and pray beside my bed. You whisper in my ear, and I still hear those words inside my head. Mom knows best, can't go back, can't disrespect. Can't forget you helped me in your stomach despite all the pain, all the stress. Can't neglect, lay the bricks to my success and dedicated all your time to make sure that I did my best. Wow. I hope you know this is your song. I hope you memorize and always sing along. She gonna have a hard time memorizing that. The practice. When you start speeding it up, <laughs> she gonna have a little hard time doing that. But I, I know, I know your mom probably so happy about this song. She, she wouldn't even have to understand what it's saying. <laughs> That's how my mom be like. My mom, yeah, she don't, she don't fully understand like rappers, you know. American rappers just rapping, especially at the speed and da She don't fully, like I'll say something about my mom, she won't fully get it, but she's hearing it. Yeah! <laughs> so I know she liked this. You know what I mean? Shout out to you, Dax. And Mother's Day is coming too, so it's obvious, you know. Time to make sure Time to celebrate. Time to celebrate. I hope you know this is your song. I hope you memorize it and always sing along. I hope you know, I know you did your best in every single step you ever took was to assure I never did no wrong. Can't nobody break this bond, it's infinite and then beyond. And when they ask my reason, I just say your name is my response. My love for you could stretch across a hundred season light of galaxy. I'm trying to say that can't nobody ever turn it off. This literally just gave me goosebumps. All jokes aside, I'm not like, I'm not even really listening to the song anymore. That, uh, he's getting ready to leave the house. And uh, his mom is basically, uh, wow. Let's just go. Mom, thank you is not enough. You the reason that I'm here and why I can't give up. And every single time I fall and every time I'm stuck, you call me knowing something's wrong innately and you pick me up. And even when we miles away, I promise we not out of touch because nothing can connect the world the way a loving mother does. For all those double shifts, I saw you work. I never saw you fuss. And that's why when I'm tired, I keep going because I know I must work to ensure. Damn, dog. Forget the song, throw the song, I don't care. That scene, that just put tears in my eyes, bro. I'll put myself in those shoes too and just like, wow. Yeah, you got me, Dax, you got me, nigga. Wow. It ain't, it ain't got nothing to do with what you were saying at all. You could have literally muted that. It was a shout out to the director, shout out to whoever shot this scene. This scene says so much. It's a powerful scene, bro. It's more powerful than what you say than the rap. It's literally like, wow, man. you killed that. Whoever shot that killed that, bro. And that's why when I'm tired, I keep going because I know I must work to ensure you get the life you deserve. Dear mom, you an angel. So again, I'm saying thank you for the memories and time. It feels like heaven on earth. And while I know I can't repay you, I'm just trying to say I'm grateful for your sacrifice and love and always putting me first. My mom Letter from your son. Those three jobs you were working, yeah, they probably wasn't fun. All the weight that you were carrying, it probably weighed a ton. So I made this song that day to finally tell you that you done. Love you, mom. plenty of mom songs and I think it's just the fact that I know Dax is Nigerian that that shit hit me different I yeah like comment subscribe that 
was the most powerful scene I've seen in a Dax video ever. The song was good too. Song was good. Song was good. The video? The video? Nigga, you could have took the song out. The song could have been the background music, add some dialogue. You might have had a tear come out, son. Even the way, like, when he comes back and her hair is gray. Oh, God. That. All right, we out, bro. Good shit, Dax. <laughs> wow. <laughs>